Hey guys, Ruiz here from Blue Effects, and today we're going to be simply and easily creating this very green screenshot that I'm showing you right now, all for free and extremely quickly in Wondershare's Filmora. So the basis of this effect is at its core a green screen effect, and it's actually really simple to do within Wondershare Filmora, and we're going to be cracking on with it right now, doing it extremely quickly. If you do enjoy these types of videos within Filmora, which is a completely free program, uh, definitely check out some of our other videos in HitFilm Express as well as in Premiere Pro After Effects. We cover basically all the softwares and if you do enjoy that kind of thing then definitely leave a like on this video and subscribe for more content. So within Wondershare Filmora, how do we actually create this green screen shot? First, we need the actual footage of our lady with the green screen behind her. And then we need a background to put behind her so that we cut her out and behind her there's a nice background showing. So we have a pack that is completely for free that has a bunch of different high quality um, animated backgrounds. That's not just a still image, but rather an animated video. It's completely for free and available for you to download right now, first line in the description. So first what we have to do is actually import our media. So in the the uh, import media section I'll just double click and I will head over to our actual footage and I have it here close up good let's then import that footage and there we have it over there now at the same time I actually want to go ahead and import the background that I'm going to be using behind this green screen clip so double click once again and then I'm going to go into the three animated backgrounds um, pack from blue effects, which I said is completely free. And for this one, I'm actually liking this dark blue background over here. So I'm going to click that one and import that as well. So next up, what I'm going to do is actually grab this um, file and I'm going to drag it into the timeline and let it go. I'm going to keep my project settings and automatically we can see we have this clip over here of this lady uh, in front of a green screen. So what I want to do then is actually just right click that file and then go ahead over to green screen. There it is. You could also press the shortcut Control shift G and once the green screen opens you can see immediately Filmora has gone ahead and quite the like they've removed most of the green screen although this isn't a perfect key so what we can do is play around with the offset the tolerance the edge thickness as well as the feather so what do these terms mean well to put it simply these are the offset obviously is reducing the amount of green in the shot the tolerance is obviously how tolerant it's being of removing that green if I put it simply. The edge thickness is actually how much of the edge of this lady um, the key is actually cutting away and the edge feather is how smooth those edges are actually being rendered by the software. So what we can do is tick this alpha channel box over here which will make it immediately you might think what the heck is it doing but what it's actually doing is separating the background the green background from our subject and if we decrease this tolerance or rather increase it a bit and um, play around with these settings we can see what we're actually doing. So the key here, lol, <laughs> pun not intended. What we want to actually do is make sure that our lady here or our subject is completely white and the background is completely black or sort of invisible. And it's easiest to do this with the alpha channel. So uh, with the alpha channel selected, my mistake. So let's just play around with the offset over here. Remember, this is very different depending on your shot. So obviously mine's at 100, it's doing, looking the best around over there and the tolerance we can also play around with remember we want to get the background as black as possible and the lady as solid white as possible over here is looking good then we can unselect this and we can look at the edges over here so as you can see around this section over here it's a little bit a little bit grainy I'm not liking that so we can reduce the edge thickness obviously this would be way too much and this would be way I mean that would be way too little and this would be way too much so let's go maybe perhaps around this value here that seems good let's round it off to negative 3.6 whoa what happened there negative 3.6 software there we go and then the feather we could make it extremely smooth or extremely harsh I like to go just a little bit smooth because I think like a little, a little bit too much smoothening or feathering tends to make it look really artificial and like too blurry so let's leave it over there let's check the alpha once again that's looking good and then essentially our final step is to hit ok and then drag our background below our green screen clip so let's actually place it here let's drag the green screen clip up drag the background below and automatically we have a clip that's done rendered fully look there's the green screen completely cut out and we have the background animated now the next thing we want to do is actually crop this lady so that this tiny little microphone over here comes out of the, the frame so what we can do is right click the footage and then go ahead over to crop and zoom and we'll then just resize this box to be nicely with our talent in the center hit ok 
and immediately we have a way better looking shot. Obviously, there are more things you can do when it comes to things such as color correction and things like that with, you know, the effects panel we can go over here. We can add a couple of glows to the background, things like that. These are um, things that we do cover in other videos. And if you want to see a video dedicated towards color grading and how to match footage to one another, definitely let us know down below in the comments and we'll be sure to get on that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you do want to download these free backgrounds, remember they are 100% free right down first line in the description. Otherwise, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, leave it a thumbs up, share it down below with all of your friends and let us know your thoughts and opinions on what you think of these videos and our other content. Please like down below as I've said before, turn on notifications so that you're notified immediately when a new video drops and we'll see you in the next one.